star 600,000 to 3,981,000 times brighter than our sun shown about 13 billion light years ago. Webb has now focused on this most distant star ever, and it's mind-blowing. The most advanced telescope ever has unlocked new secrets from Erendel, the star of cosmic dawns. It may now be possible for scientists to explain for the first time how the first stars in the universe really came into being. It was a sensational discovery when the old Hubble Space Telescope first discovered a star so far away that it took scientists' breath away. It's actually no wonder that a star existed in space 13 billion years ago. The miracle is rather that we can see it from Earth with our telescopes. The light from this star traveled 13 billion light years through time and space before it hit Hubble's somewhat aging observation mirror. The discovery of Urendal, the oldest single star in the universe, was a late stroke of genius for the telescope. Another scientific miracle is the fact that the star can be seen away from its galaxy. This is possible because Urendal was superimposed by a gravitational lens. Gravitational lenses are formed by strong magnifications when a large mass lies in front of the distant object, stretching space-time in such a way that it acts like a magnifying glass. Erendel was thereby optically enlarged out of its galaxy. Recognizing individual stars at these distances is otherwise almost impossible. What do such finds reveal to scientists? It's quite simple. If we see a star that is typical of the young universe for the first time, we finally know what the stars of the first generation really looked like. If we have details about these stars, we can trace the history of the evolution of the universe and find answers that are urgently needed. Until now, we have no certainty about what the first stars looked like. We have theories, but no proof. Urendel was supposed to be such proof, but then the new Webb telescope came along and turned everything upside down. Urendel, what did Webb really see? Can you imagine how a single star literally becomes a superstar? After its discovery, Urendel stormed the media and the reports came thick and fast. With the help of this oldest known star in the universe, the question of how the universe really came into being should finally be answered. Scientists were certain that 13 billion years ago, the cosmic dawn broke. The once dark universe was slowly lit up by stars. Erendel is an old English term meaning morning star or rising light. Some of you may also know the name from the book The Silmarillion by J.R.R. Tolkien. So, Erendel was given a truly epic name, and for a long time it looked as if this star would really go down in the history books. But then came the disappointment. Erendel is old, very old in fact, but it's by no means the oldest star in the universe and it showed no abnormalities that distinguish it from today's stars. Actually, stars from the first apochs of the universe should be blue supergiants. Up to 1,000 times larger than our sun, these stars are said to have had only a short lifespan. Erendel did not disappoint researchers when it came to luminosity. Between 600,000 and 3,981,000 times brighter than our sun, this star was truly bright and large. However, further analysis showed that it was no different in composition from today's giant stars. Erendel thus showed no evidence of being a first-generation star. Shortly after its discovery, science was dealt the next blow. The new James Webb Space Telescope discovered even older stars and galaxies that are far older than Erendel. The alleged star of the dawn was thus demoted from superstar to just one of many that existed at a rather unspectacular time in the universe. Erendel's light was emitted about 13 billion years ago. The galaxies discovered by Webb were already radiating their light in space 13.6 billion years ago. This means that millions of stars in these galaxies were and are about 600 million years older than Erendel. Nevertheless, the star remained the focus of science. Even if Erendel had to quickly give up its top position among the oldest stars in the universe, it's still an exciting find. The light of a single star from this epoch reveals important details to scientists about the composition and thus the formation of the star. Telescopes like Hubble and Webb can break down the light waves into individual frequencies. 
Analyses then allow exact predictions to be made about which gases the star was fusing, how old it was, what spectral class it belonged to, and whether it was unusual in any way. These investigations led to another small sensation. The James Webb Telescope discovered evidence of a cooler, redder, companion star in the star's surroundings. This could mean that we are dealing with a binary star system consisting of a very large and hot star and a small one. This possible binary star system raises new questions about the formation history of the first stars, since binary stars in the early days of the universe have rarely been suspected. The cool companion star could help to determine the chemical composition and age of the system more precisely. It is exciting that such systems could also provide insights into the interactions between massive stars and their environment. Such pairings may influence the distribution of heavier elements in the early universe more than previously thought. Further observations with the Webb telescope should now clarify whether this is indeed a binary system and what role it played in the evolution of the first generation of stars. Star Parade these are the oldest stars in the universe. Can we ever really be sure that we are seeing the oldest stars in the universe? Since the discovery of Erendel and the subsequent scientific bust, researchers around the world have become more cautious when choosing names like Dawn Star or similar designations. Meanwhile, gravitational lenses have provided further sightings of individual stars in the universe, and these make Erendel look like a spring chicken. SMSS J03 1300.36-670839.3 is almost as old as the universe itself, at over 13.6 billion years old. It was discovered in the halo of our own galaxy. This star is therefore likely to be one of the oldest in the galaxy. This star actually contains so few heavy elements that it could be a direct descendant of the first generation of stars. The low metal content is considered typical for stars that were formed in a very early phase of the universe and exploded as supernovae just a short time later. Researchers were jubilant about this discovery and they finally saw their theories about the first light giant stars confirmed. Then, HD 14283 turned up and turned everything upside down again. Measurements showed that this star is about 14.5 billion years old. Located about 190 light-years from Earth in our own galaxy, this star would be older than the universe itself. HD 14283 went down in the history of astronomy as the Methuselah star, and researchers still cannot explain the existence of this star to this day. The sheer inexplicability of the star even compels some scientists to claim that it could only be a measurement error. HE 1523-0901 was also localized in our Milky Way and is about 13.2 billion years old. A measurement error can be ruled out here. This star was dated using a very accurate method based on uranium and thorium measurements. HE 1523-0901 is thus one of the oldest stars whose age has been precisely determined. It certainly existed 600 million years after the Big Bang. That would just about be compatible with the old theories. But then came BD plus 17 degrees, 3248, which, at around 13.8 billion years old, once again calls the Big Bang into question. This star also contains uranium, whose decay is a perfect tool for determining age. The unusual age of this star could thus also be determined almost certainly. If it really existed 13.8 billion years ago, it cannot have shown at the same time as the Big Bang. 2 mass J1808-2002-5104378 b is another candidate that challenges existing knowledge. Its light was spotted in the galactic halo of our Milky Way and it's shown there about 13.5 billion years ago. The extremely low mass star shows indications of a first generation of stars. It was large, light, and probably lived only briefly. This could make it a direct descendant of the first generation of stars. However, this is not yet proven. Researchers are urgently seeking more and more evidence of very old stars of population too. These are thought to have been the very first stars in the young universe around 13.5 billion years ago. Although the Webb telescope can easily see back to this time, 
So far, no evidence of these star populations has emerged. The globular cluster M92 was dated to be about 13.8 billion years old. This could mean that the cluster was a kind of proto-galaxy, but with an age that exactly matches that of the universe. The globular cluster blows up the old timeline of cosmic evolution. These discoveries of individual stars, along with Webb's finds of very old galaxies whose formation extends beyond the Big Bang, show that the universe must be older than we previously assumed. The universe is 26.7 billion years old. Do you also wonder why scientists are so sure that the Big Bang occurred 13.8 billion years ago, when no one has ever actually seen it? The dating of the origin is essentially based on measurements of the cosmic background radiation, which was long interpreted as a direct afterglow of the Big Bang. Other values, such as the expansion rate of the universe and the so-called Hubble constant, seem to support this theory for a long time. However, more recent discoveries and data raise the question of whether the universe could actually be older than previously thought. Scientists discovered errors in the measurements of the speed at which galaxies are moving away from each other years ago. The difference, known as the Hubble tension, may have been an early indication that the age of the universe was being miscalculated. You can think of the way scientists approach this as treating the expansion like an inflated balloon. If you let the air out of the balloon, all the visible matter would come together again at the starting point. This was supposed to be the Big Bang 13.8 billion years ago. Further measurements and methods confirm that the universe is approximately 13.8 billion years old. But now, there is a whole series of real evidence of stars and galaxies that existed at a time when the universe was supposedly just beginning. This real evidence throws all old theories overboard. The stars and galaxies are there, beyond doubt, so researchers can no longer claim that there was nothing at all at that time or that the universe was just a hot, soupy mess with no real matter. Despite this evidence, a rethinking in science is only progressing slowly. Imagine that you have believed in something all your life and defended that belief. Then, an event or a person comes along and suddenly something else is supposed to be true. The mind and also a bit of stubbornness and pride can prevent new real evidence from revolutionizing old thinking. This is what is happening in our astroscience right now. While many modern researchers welcome the developments, conservative scientists are shocked. They don't want to admit that the universe must be older and that old theories are at least flawed. We are at a new beginning. A Canadian researcher presented a new age determination of the universe. He showed mathematically and in line with the old known physics that the universe could also be 26.7 billion years old. Subscribe to the channel now and look forward to many new exciting videos.